Hello guys and welcome to Python Programming Tutorials by Amul's Academy. Today in this tutorial we will write a pattern program. So this is our pattern. So we need to get output like this. When I enter number of rows as 5, we need to get pattern like this. So this is our today's pattern. If we combine 4 pattern together, we will get our today's pattern. So here we can see that. So first we will write the code for the pattern 1 that is this. Next, we'll write the code for pattern 2, next 3, next 4. Then we'll combine that, we'll get our today's pattern. So first, we'll concentrate on the pattern 1. So here we can see, if I take number of rows as 5, we'll get this pattern. And here we can see 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Total 5 rows. And we need to print first 5 star, next 4 star, 3 star, 2 star and 1 star. Here we can see we want to print star in different row and column. So for that we need nested for loop. So in the python file, first we'll ask the user to enter the number of rows. So I'll take n and I'll use input function to take input from the user. How many rows you want? You can print any message here. And we are using python3 so, so by default in python3 input function will take input as string value but here we want number that's why I'll convert that string input to integer input using int function. So if I enter the row number as 4 now that integer value will be stored in the variable n. Next to print the first pattern we need nested for loop so I'll take for i in range. So this is the first for loop. This for loop is for row. Here I need to mention how many rows I want. I want n rows, right? Here we are asking the user to enter the number of rows and, and we need n rows. So here I need to mention n number of rows. And next I need to write the for loop for column. How many columns I want in each row? Here we can see in the first row I want 5 column. In the second row I want 4 column. In the third row I want 3 column and in the fourth row I want 2 column and in the last row that is the fifth row I want 1 column. Here we want number of column in the descending order right. So for that what I'll do is I'll take the range in the opposite order. So that is nothing but if I enter the n value as 5 so range will be from 5 to 0 minus 1. We'll get total 5 rows but the row number of first row will be 5. For example, here will row starts from 5. So this will be 5th, 4, 3, 2, 1. So this row number helps us to print the star. Here we can see we want 5 star. Here 4 star, 3 star, 2 star, 1 star, right? We are writing the pattern in the reverse order. That's why I took the row number in the reverse order. So here I need to mention how many columns I want. I want i columns, right? When row number is 5, we need 5 column. When row number is 4, we need 4 column. When row number is 3, we need 3 column. When row number is 2, we need 2 column. When row number is 1, we need 1 column. That is nothing but here I need to take range as i to 0 minus 1. We need to take this range in the reverse order. Here minus 1 is nothing but step. So now if I print star here. So here I'll print the star and here I'll take end as the space that is nothing but after printing one star keep the control in the same line after printing a space between the star. Here in a row after printing star we need next star in the same line right. So for that I need to take end as empty string or space. If I take end as space it will print the space between these two star. If you want you can take end as empty string also. Next here I'll take print function in the first for loop that is in this for loop that is the for loop for row that is for the new line. After each row we want to go to the next line right after printing this row I need to go to the next line to print the stars in the row 4. So for that I took this print function. So now if I save this and run this. So if I enter row as 5, here we can see our first pattern. We are done with the first pattern. Next we want to print the pattern 2. Here we want pattern 2 next to pattern 1. So for that I need to take same rows. Here we need to print these star in the same row as these stars, right? So I need to 
take the for loop for this pattern inside this for loop okay next here to print this pattern here we can see first we need to print this space because we want to print star after that space we need to consider this space so here we can see in the row 5 so the first row we want 0 space here we want 2 space here we want 4 space here we want 6 space and here we want 8 space when n is equal to 5 so to print this space we need to take a for loop so here I need to take the for loop for space so here I need to mention how many space I want to print so here we want 0 space 2 space 4 space 6 space 8 space so for that we can take the formula like this n that is nothing but this value n value minus i that is nothing but row value multiply 2 so here n minus i n is nothing but 5 i is nothing but 5 5 minus 5 0 0 multiply 2 so we'll get 0 so we'll get 0 space here in the next row i value is 4 so 5 minus 4 n value is 5 so 5 minus 4 1 1 multiply 2 we'll get 2 space for here row number is 3 i value is 3 n value is 5 so 5 minus 3 is 2 2 multiply 2 so we'll get 4 space so this formula will work for this space so here i'll take i need 2 multiply n minus i space here i need to print space and i need to keep the control in the same line so i need to use end next after printing space i want to print the star how many star i want to print i want to print 5 star 4 star 3 star 2 star 1 star so this pattern is same as this pattern right so for that i'll copy this for loop okay so now if i save this and execute this if i mention phi here we can see pattern one and pattern two so here first we'll ask the user to enter the number of row next we'll take the for loop for row that is nothing but here this row first we'll write the for loop for this pattern here we want number of stars in the descending order so that's why we'll take the range order in the reverse order next this for loop is to print the first pattern this for loop is to print the space between two pattern and this is to print the star in the last pattern that is second pattern and next we are using print function this is for new line after printing one row it will go to the new line here when row is zero in the first row it will print the star first next followed by space there is no space so next it will print this star next it will go to the next line in the row 4 or the next row it will print this star space next star okay so that's why we used three for loop inside the for loop for row that is one for this one for this and one for this next we need to print the pattern 3 and pattern 4 so for that i'll copy this and i'll paste this but here we can see in the lower pattern first we want one star next two star three star four star five star in the ascending order that's why we'll take range from zero to n so i'll take range as n that is nothing but zero to n so i value will be start from zero so here this will be zero through one two three four like this next we want first for loop to print star here these stars so we want one star two star three star four star five star so that's why here i need to take i want star from zero to i plus one zero to i plus one because when i is equal to zero i want one star when i is equal to one we want two star when i equal to 2 we want 3 star that's why i plus 1 star okay here i plus 1 
and we need to print star after that after printing this star we want to print this space so to print this space we are using another for loop and here we need to check how many space we want so first 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 total 8 space next 6 space next 4 space next 2 space next 0 space right but here i value is 0 when we want 8 space so i need to take different formula for the space here so first let us consider only this part here first we want 1 2 3 4 space when n value is 5 i value is 0 we want 4 space when n value is 5 i value is 1 we want 3 space okay so that's why i'll take the formula as n minus i minus 1 for the space when n value is 5 i value is 0 minus 1 we'll get 4 space here we can see 1 2 3 4 space when n value is 5 i value is 1 minus 1 so 5 minus 1 minus 1 we'll get 3 space next i value is 2 5 minus 2 minus 1 so we'll get 2 space next 1 space next 0 space okay n minus i minus 1 for this space next here we want same space right so we need 2 multiply n minus i minus 1 space so here i'll take it as 2 multiply n minus i minus 1 space okay so here we want to print space next we want to print star how many star we want first we want one star next two star three star four star five star right so here we want i plus one star so same as this so now if i save this and execute this now enter the number of row if i enter five here we can see our pattern if you want four if you want we can print the number of row as four right next here if you don't want this two star okay then uh, here you can take range from one to n and if i execute this now here we can say only one star if you want to modify that previous pattern then you can do like this okay so this is about this pattern program so that's it for now guys thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe to my channel i will meet you in next class till then take care